if I'm worried, then I'm not present. Um, and so if I'm, if I'm caught up in worry of the future or worry of, of what will happen when something else happens or this fear, if I'm caught up in that, then I'm actually not in my present in, in the present and I'm actually not being mindful. And I, so I guess my encouragement would be is when you find yourself worried about what will happen or what can be is it's to take that focus off of that and, and find yourself, you know, find your key things, find, um, you know, like kind of what you're saying is there, you know, there's some people that do breathing techniques to help them out to recenter themselves in that moment. So do whatever mindfulness looks like to you. But I would say in that, in your journey to operating in mindfulness, if you're worried or if you're freaking out about something and you're actually, you know, you're too caught up in the future, which is obviously the opposite of what mindfulness is meant to be. And I think that that's something that's more so like, um, a red flag that I've caught for myself is when I'm seeing that I'm on the wrong track. So it's just saying, Hey, I just saw this red flag. You know what? Let me reshift my eyes. Let me focus. Let me take a moment to breathe, take a moment to, to sit in this present moment and not worry about tomorrow, not worry about, um, you know, how this is going to play out or how this is going to happen, but let me be secure and set in this moment with who I'm around, with what my current, you know, goal and objective is and, and how I'm feeling in this current situation and not, you know, in a month from now or in a week from now or tomorrow. 